Welcome to the Beloved Plant channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about how to get rid of pests, more specifically mealybugs and aphids. I use the same treatment for both and I usually get some infestations during winter time, especially because all of my plants are going to be stored indoors and I have to keep them very close together so there's lack of ventilation and I have a very precious collection here in my office where the infestation actually is. Loads of uh, rare plants and tropical plants. The infestation is in this corner at the minute but if I don't take care of it, it will spread. As I like being up front in these videos, it's two things that I'm going to show you how, to, how I like to apply. One is isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol, uh, 70%, and neem oil. I make a mix and I'm gonna give you the recipe or the ratio that I use. Um, basically, we use this to kill whatever insects we can see. Whichever insects are touched by the alcohol are going to die, but anything that is not touched won't die. <laughs> and this is something that is soaked up by the plant and whichever insects we haven't seen that eat the plant will will die off and this is toxic for them this is one of the plants that i've been treating for a while and um, so i'm always on the lookout for any new bugs here and that's how i found a few you will see that they are very tiny it will be hard to see here i found something in the soil actually and this looks like the female piece uh, of the mealybugs you will find some cotton looking um i don't know balls. I would find it in this plant normally here in the joints, uh, underneath the roots, beneath these dry leaves. This is some sort of a protection, right? You are gonna need a spraying bottle or you can also use cotton buds, uh, something like this to remove uh, whichever bugs you have. It depends on how big the infestation is. Again, this is alcohol, highly inflammable. I trust that I'm talking to adults here. Do not touch the bugs if you can, because especially if you have many plants in the house, you will carry these around. Um, you don't you don't want that to happen. There's something tiny there as well that you can barely see. Um, this is a baby one. Here it is. So the alcohol will melt the wax around the body of the bug. Oh, there's more over here. We'll spray it there also. Here's another Hoya in my collection. I have sprayed um, rubbing alcohol here and now I'm using a cotton bud that has been dipped in rubbing alcohol to rub the bugs off, right? For the neem oil mix you're going to need one teaspoon and a half of neem oil to one liter of water to one teaspoon of a mild wash-up or soap right, that you're gonna use to help dilute the neem oil into the water. I've done half recipe, so half the ratio I gave you. Can you see here? The oil and the soap. You just shake it and spray it in your plants for prevention. I don't love the smell, but it's not too bad. If you apply neem oil mix to your plant, just be aware that the red sunlight and neem oil do not go well together. I just want to show you what can happen to your plant. But with my example, you just need to keep in mind that this is an anturium. It's a plant that does not like the red sunlight for many hours a day already. It's a shade, half shade plant. Um, so it's naturally sensitive to the red sunlight. And with neem oil, you would get burns. You can see that many of the leaves are deformed. This is because of the bugs that I have here. This nasty bugs. So new new leaves will be only half uh, half of it grows, the other half doesn't. Well, the reason being the bugs, right? These are the inner side of the leaves and the bugs would be um, eating them from, from this side especially. Uh, the plant will make it, it's just temporarily not looking great. So in this scenario here where I said I know the infestation is here, what I would do is I would treat these plants with the isopropyl um, alcohol where I see the bugs and I would put the neem oil on them but I would put the neem oil on every other plant as well just to be sure and of course always keep an eye on them as well. 